All right, everyone, it is day four of the quarantining. And so, uh, no, um, I think what we're going to do is next Tuesday and Thursday is I'm going to do recordings of Baby Bear Eats Night on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, I'll do a recording of Elite Sheep. They won't be, I won't do them live just because if uh, people want to use those and show them to other kids, I'll, um, I'll try to do a good reading version of that for everyone next week. So Tuesday, my plan is for Baby Berries the Night, and on Thursday is Elite Sheep. And I've, uh, I think I talked about how I want to um, do some uh, other stuff between, some even some stories that I've been working on or I've been submitting around. Just I wanted to share those, uh, just some things that I've been having fun writing. So I might do that too. Um, today, I also wanted to do one other thing because I figured you guys are all uh, quarantined just like me. Now we're not necessarily stuck in the house, but we still are um, not going out and about. And so clearly this means that you're trying to figure out what to do with your families. And if you know anything about me, I have a deep love for board games. You may not, and that's okay. Um, so uh, I figured what I would do is I was going to give you some best tips so that when you're playing your kids in Monopoly, then uh, this is how you win in Monopoly. Because I know even if you're not into different games like I am, um, you probably own a Monopoly board. So this is the day four of quarantine, top five tips for Monopoly. I'm very excited and I, I really spent a lot of money on the special effects with my marker board. So uh, here we go. So some of these are just from memories. Uh, one of the funny stories I used to play in college with uh, a lot of my fraternity brothers and these were uh, very fun evenings of playing Monopoly. And, uh, those are some fun memories, and I remember a lot of the things that we did so to, to win. So, number one, the first tip in Monopoly is don't build hotels. That's right, they are a trap. If you build a hotel, that's too much money for you to be spending. If you want to beat your kids in Monopoly, don't build hotels. Convince them to build hotels. Uh, the number two tip for Monopoly is don't put money on free parking. Don't put money in the middle. It makes the game last way too long because you are uh, giving money to people in a way that just makes the game longer. It makes it less fun because it just kind of drags the game out. Um, this is going to be a really controversial one, so I know that uh, some of you might be upset about this. But the number three tip for Monopoly is to be the race car. Uh, it's the fastest piece on the board. Um, it is significantly faster than the dog. It is better than the thimble, the top hat, doesn't even matter. If you're the race car, there's a really good chance you'll beat your family and your kids in Monopoly. Uh, number four, I uh, researched, and I did a lot of research by Googling this because I couldn't remember. So that's, when people say research, they actually mean they're going on Google. But uh, number four is buy the red spaces if you can. Uh, they are statistically most likely to be landed on. Uh, they are the highest ones, so those are the best ones to go to. So uh, those are four things to do and when you're playing Monopoly. Now, if you had my number one suggestion, which is my fifth suggestion for my, my fifth tip, is this. Don't play Monopoly. <laughs> um, I have two suggestions for games that are Monopoly-like and they're, uh, they're, they're better, they're faster, they don't take as long, and my family likes playing these. Um, I'm going to show you the box for it. My daughters really like this game called Machi Koro. It's really fun and it takes all the feelings of Monopoly. Um, you're building a little city with cards, so it's kind of like Monopoly. You get to roll dice a lot, like Monopoly, but it only takes about 45 minutes, where if you've been played Monopoly, you know that sometimes it's like um, way too long. So Machi Koro is a really good game. Uh, my girls are 11 and 8 and they really like it. Uh, you guys know since this is basically going on Facebook to people who are my friends. Um, but feel free to share this around. The other game to play instead of Monopoly, if you want to get started, is called Ticket to Ride. Uh, a lot my friends who are uh, into the board game world, uh, they know Ticket to Ride. This is called Ticket to Ride Europe. It is a really fun version of the game. And again, instead of playing Monopoly for three hours, you are building train lines and you are having fun interacting with the people at the table and it's not like one of those games where monopoly can make you feel really bad at the end of the game when you play something like ticket to ride um, everybody's still doing something in the game so there's not 
uh, you don't get eliminated or you don't get submarine by landing on a space and you lose all your money. Um, and so it makes the game, in a 45 minute game, it's it tends to have better feelings for everybody who's playing. So um, everybody, I hope you are having a good day. This is our fourth day of quarantining. These were my top five tips for playing Monopoly. Number five being don't play it, play something else. Uh, next week I will uh, do some recordings of some children's books and I'll also plan on doing some um, uh, just some other things that will be kind of fun and silly. I think this is kind of the way that I'm going to stay maybe sane as we're going through um, this. So we'll see what happens uh, when we get to day 64. All right, everyone. Bye.